Well, yes, the male lions, the Mara area, are, well, very varied indeed. And, Mike, you were wondering about how many there are and where they live. We're still getting a handle on it, but basically in the Mara Triangle we've got two groups here. Uh, the Triangle Boys, so named because of the Mara Triangle, live in this area around here that I'm indicating with my Maasai sword. Then we have got the Musketeers, who many of you know, very famous lions. They've got quite a small territory around this area here. Uh, that, of course, is a piece of artistic license from the map department. Uh, it doesn't actually exist. But there we have the musketeers, so there are four male lions there. They're probably about 13 now, 13 or 14. The triangle boy is probably a bit younger than them, maybe about 10 at this stage. And then there are a number of males around about the south here, down towards the south of the river. We have the notch boys, of course. Two of them left here. Uh, one of them is called notch two, that's him there. And the other is Caesar, that's him there. This one here, called Ron, with his salon quality hair, is deceased. That's why he's got a red cross through him. Anyway, they operate in this area here. There are a few other males of indeterminate sort of origin and who they are we don't really know. And the reason we don't know, because we don't spend a huge amount of time here, there isn't much signal. And so I'm not sure what's going on in that region. You'll probably find the notches move across that way. Then, across this area, around Kikarok and to the Ololai Muchak village in the far eastern sector, there is also a little bit of confusion as to who the males are. So those, these areas here, we're not particularly sure about. And we go back to the marsh over here to answer Andy's question. This should say marsh, not no man's land. I think the person who designed this map had clearly been reading Treasure Island or something similar when he uh, or she designed it. The odd no man's land, or perhaps even, indeed a First World War novel. Uh, there are no landmines either side of no man's land. So this is the marsh, and the marsh there, and you want to know where the marsh pride came from, where it came from there. They seem to have moved off to the north, Pride Splinter, especially in an area where there's so much prey. The Angama Pride, who we spend a lot of time with, and who I think Scott will go back to now, is an offshoot of this pride here. Probably the marsh pride breakaways either first, second or third generation, not sure which exactly. They were known then as the Ololo Pride. The Ololo Pride then split up, and so now that's why they're called the Angama Pride. So that's what's going on there. And the Marsh Pride also, apparently, I think it was in 2014, the remaining members strayed up into an area where there were a whole lot of Maasai villages, and many of them were actually poisoned or killed. And so, well... They are not in the same way as they were during the time when they were made famous during the Big Cat Diaries. Let's head across to Taylor, who I think is uh, with what? Looking. She's looking for a heartbeat.